would you look at you? Don't you look nice? Oh, thank Much you. Better than nice. Oh, you. Mm, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, she looks wonderful. <laughs> she does indeed. I didn't even expect you to be out of bed yet. Oh well, I may be rushing things a little bit, but I thought, well, Stephen and I are going to be released in a few hours. I thought, hey, why not? <laughs> why not, indeed? Oh, uh, what beautiful flowers! You're taking them all home? Oh no, I thought just maybe these. <laughs> Oh, all the flowers and presents, you're certainly a very popular young lady. Oh, no, I, I think it's a baby that we all know. <laughs> oh, we shouldn't stay too long. John and Charlene are waiting their turn to see you. Oh, oh that reminds me of someone else who called who uh, is on his, on his way to visit. Well, the more the merrier. Who is it? Cass. Oh. <laughs> Alfred. Good morning. Detective. Good morning. And what is this? A writ. Mm-hmm. It says that I have the right to inspect certain articles that you took out of Jason Frame's home, pursuant to the rules of discovery. You've heard of those, haven't you? Yes, I certainly have. <clears throat> so without any further ado, I would like to see the contents to Jason's safe. Like now. I hope Vicky likes these flowers. John. I can't believe that Cass actually thinks that I may have killed Jason. I mean, Jason was my partner. He was my friend in spite of everything. I know. That... I know. Look, Jason did a lot of things that... You bent over backwards for him. Everybody knows that. Not everybody. I don't like seeing you this upset. Oh, Charlene. I'm not, I'm not really. Neither one of us should worry at all. Everything's gonna be all right. I really appreciate this, Michael. No problem, Iris. Well, I realize how valuable your time is. Well, I want to see this magazine be a success as much as you do. Thank you. Although Daddy seems a bit hesitant about the subject. Yeah, you mentioned that the other night. I wonder why. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because of the title. You know, sophisticate, maybe he it thinks it's too elitist. Well, it's a money title, but uh, the content is avant-garde. Mm, I hope it will be, and I hope it'll be useful and entertaining, and I hope they'll set the trends in arts and everything. <laughs> Provided the reader can pay for it, of course. Ah, oh, yeah, or wishes he could. Lots of magazine buyers just want to look at the pictures and read the articles, even though they know they'll never have anything like it. You know, I don't detect any hesitancy in your voice. <laughs> of course they're not. This magazine is going to be a success. Good. Yes. You know, I'm so sure of it that I'm backing it with my own money. You're backing this with private funds? Mm-hmm. And when it's a success, I'm going to give it to my father as a present. Does Mac know this? What, that I'm giving it to him as... Oh, no. No, 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 that, that you're backing it with your own money. Yes, of course. I mean, that might explain why he's hesitant. What do you mean? <laughs> well, Iris, I mean, maybe he just doesn't want you to take such a big risk. Mean he's concerned for me? You're his daughter. He doesn't want to see you get hurt. No, of course not. Any more than you want to see him get hurt. Oh, no, never. Never. So, issue number one's got to come off and with a big splash, right? That's absolutely right. But, you know, I'm so concerned there might be a foul up with the, with the whoa, advertising. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. That's what you called me in here for, right? Now, I promised I'd help you. I'm going to help you. Yes, you did. You promised. And from experience, I know you'll always keep your word. Cass is wrong. That's all there is to it. 
Just don't dwell on it, okay? Just... Well, it can't be very easy for you. It's not me I'm worried about. It's still gonna be hard on you, knowing how many people wanted Jason killed. Look, there's no point in pretending that he was perfect. A lot of people are gonna be saying a lot of things about him. For a long time to come. Well, you just hang on to your feelings about him. Cass upset me. I thought I knew what had happened. Well, maybe you do. Now, you see, Felicia admitted that it was an accident, and everybody seemed to accept that. Right, then they turn around and charge her with murder. And then, but now Cass says that, that it had to have been somebody else. Well, it makes sense, Charlene. Felicia is his friend. He's gonna protect her. He's... You think that's it? <laughs> I don't know, don't you? What if it wasn't Felicia? What if it was somebody else who killed him? It's possible. You had an awful lot of enemies. I have something to lend you. To lend me? Yes, here. Uh, Rachel, what on earth is in here? Do you like it? Oh, it's so precious. <laughs> Thank you. My gosh. <gasps> Ali Ward and Amanda Ward and Matthew Ward. And it goes Jamie? way back in Max's family. Yes. It started in my family with Jamie. Oh. This means so much to me. Thank you so much. Well, sweetie, I know that Donna might have something in mind, so don't feel you oh, have to use it. No, no, no. She hasn't mentioned a thing. And, and this is just... Perfect. Now, Jamie actually fit into this and yep. this little bonnet. <laughs> I know. And he cried throughout the whole ceremony, I'm afraid. Oh, well, I would, I would believe that. I can't believe this Look who we is. found. How did you get him so quickly? Oh, well, I the see nurse was this. coming down the hall, headed right here. And so we oh. took over. Mm. Mama, I want you to meet your first grandson. Oh, precious thing. Look at that tiny yellow. You. <laughs> <laughs> you look like look at his blue eyes. Yes, blue eyes. Yes, you do. You do. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Excuse me. Excuse me, Vicky. Yeah. Yeah, hi, Dr. Peterson. Hi, <laughs> listen, I, I know we're breaking the rules a little bit here, uh, having so many people around the base. That's, yeah. that's quite all right. I just wanted to have a word with Vicky. Oh, sure, excuse me. Bye-bye, honey. Bye-bye, Mommy. <laughs> Come back soon. Yeah. 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 I just wanted you to know that I've arranged for the paternity tests. Oh. You can have them done today before you leave, if you like. Mm -hmm. We'll use the blood that was drawn from the baby when it was admitted. So if you just have Jamie come down for a blood test... Oh, no. Then... No, no. Excuse mm -hmm. me? No tests. But... Uh, you don't want them? Uh, no. This baby's Jamie's, okay? But I thought... I, I told you, no. This baby is Jamie's baby. Excuse me. <laughs> you, you always feel okay.